Dave from Head Games here. Today we are gonna grind fins into this 2JZ intake port. Check it out. What we're gonna do is take the port from this and see how it has this fin here. This is where the injector goes. And we have this little fat area here. And we're gonna make it look like this guy. Well, I'm not gonna show you how to sand it. You see how we took the area out of here, we built two trenches, and we make it a fin. It's important to note when we're porting a 2JZ that there's actually three different intake ports and three different exhaust ports. Yes, they're not all the same. So what we're gonna use is the Head Games Super Spiral Burr in our Makita GD0603. Speed, all of it. And a little touch of bow lube. Yes, I would love to make a commercial for bow lube. Maybe never, but bow lube, check me out. This is what you saw. You saw me building a trench in here. Now when I build the trench here, I'm not pushing down, I'm pushing over. So I'm trying to make it down and over in order to make this fin the shape. What I don't want to do is build a trench into this area here, big enough where I really have to dig at it to get it out, if that makes sense. So we do it here and here, and then we do a little bit of the divider to come up with this shape. You might have noticed that we didn't put a gasket on it. We actually don't port any of the two JZs to the gasket. Uh, we've made 2000 plus horsepower with the port not as big as the gasket. And some of these guys are making it actually bigger than the gasket where you can't even use a factory gasket. We do none of that. Besides, we weren't doing the full port. We're just showing you the divider. They might be asking, why the hell is that guy putting all these dividers and fins into port? Well, they actually increase airspeed. I see a lot of guys taking this stuff out and if they used a flow bench, they would hear the difference. You don't even have to measure it. You can actually hear the velocity change in the port before and after taking out the divider. Knowing is how you get there. All right, now we're gonna make a fin in the floor of the port. I'm gonna use the Head Games three quarter super spiral burr and we are going to make a fin right here as you can see there's really a lot of meat but there's not a lot i mean there's nothing that shapes looks like a a, a fin but we're going to make it one so for the speed we're going to go all of it again but you'll notice how long this is a six inch long burr or a long shank and our big burr now that could only can happen i believe in this grinder that's the gd0603 grinder we can run this thing full blast doesn't bend actually runs really true
show you, this is the motion I'm taking. I am building two trenches here, and they don't have to be perfect, but you build two trenches, you try to keep it in line with the upper, and said, a lot of these things are facing a different direction than 2J, so sometimes I move this one to be the opposite direction, give like a swirl effect. Um, you can kind of do what you want there, that's the artist thing, but the biggest thing is I wanted to show you the trench, it is a little thick, but now we're gonna blend it into the rest of the port. So real quick, I just wanted to show you, now I'm not going all the way up the port, but you see how this radius matches the port? That is very important. So you're not trying to make that shape. If you use a too small of a burr, you're gonna have to continually try to keep that shape and that's how you get in trouble. And I'm also doing X pattern. When I do this, it straightens the port right out and we don't have to really mess with it. and just makes it straight by itself. Now this is all roughed in. Could it be smoother? Yes, but that is not what that burr is for. We can actually take a different burr. We use our half inch and smooth it all out. But as you can see, we did not touch this line here at all. Everything is done in the port. We're just reshaping it for airflow and we don't have to take out a lot of meat on the outside, which does nothing. So, see we made a divider here, made two trenches, made this straight and now, we are ready to grind the rest of the port. I'm kidding guys. I'm not going to show you how to port the whole thing. I just wanted to show you how to do the dividers. I hope you see it and understand it. Ask questions. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, do all of it. Toodles.